Hey friends, it's Jen from Gold Nutrition. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing my first plum paper planner. So if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. Hey guys, I am so excited to check out this planner with you. I have taken a little peek, but I really haven't gotten to check it out. What I have in this box is my first plum paper planner. It is an hourly layout and it is going to be my work planner. I did have a planner uh, for my job last year and I never really shared it. I was using a happy planner lined vertical, but I was using it as an hourly. I was just sort of writing in the time slots and that was fine. But when I realized that the Happy Planner hadn't released any line verticals for 2023, it got me thinking about what I would use instead. And as I started to look into hourly planners, I decided that I'd really like to try a plum paper planner. I'd been interested in it. And I thought that would be a good way to try it because I don't decorate my uh, work planner. It's just purely functional. So I thought it would be a nice way to check out the brand and if there were things about colors or paper or anything like that that didn't really work that well for me with my general planning it probably wouldn't be as big of a deal with my work planner and so <laughs> that's why i ended up with this planner now i just have some sticky notes on the box because my address was showing but i want to open this box and check this out so let's do that All right, I'm gonna move this box out of the way and we're gonna look at stuff uh, one at a time. So first of all, they send you this card that shows you that their covers are like waterproof and tear resistant and all this stuff. Now, it, it does though, from what I've seen, it can get creased or bent, although this doesn't really seem to be creasing. So interesting. Um, yeah, so that's what their covers are made out of. They also send you this, um, it's a beautiful day to make plans. And um, it gives you some instructions for sharing on social media and you can win a plum paper planner, which is really cool. I'll have to keep a look at that. It also gives you some care instructions. So if you're not familiar, plum paper is a planner company where you can fully customize your planner or there's a lot of options for customizing, I should say. You have a choice between getting your planner on a coil or disc bound, or I believe you could ask for it unpunched. I'm not sure about that part. And I kind of went back and forth because they actually updated some of the choices right before I ordered. And I did order during their Black Friday sale. So I was able to get this for 30% off. And it comes, whether you get a coil or disc, you get this cover, um, so that's that same material, and the insides are all the same of this kind of like pale gray chevron. And you also get this clear piece to protect it. Now, some people really don't like this clear piece, and this one's already kind of schmutzy, which is interesting. Um, and so you can now order it without, although it doesn't change the price or you can order a hard cover, but that's only available on the coil. It does cost $10 extra. And they now offer, you could get a gold coil for an extra $10. And I thought about it because I'm not really a coil planner for the most part. However, I don't really do much again with my disc bound planner at work in terms of like franken planning or changing things up i really don't do that i did put some note paper in the back and you also have the option with plum paper to add a lot of extra things in i only ordered one little extra thing which i'll show you when we get there i'm going to move this plastic in case it's glaring now i have to say i was disappointed when I saw this because it didn't look the way I thought it was going to look because I thought that this background was tan like a tan or taupe kind of color and it's really not it's like a light gray or bluish gray 
And I was really excited about this cover. So when I opened it, I was kind of like, oh, but I don't know that that's the company's fault. It, it's probably, it could be my computer screen, but I went back and looked at it again and I'm pretty sure they sent me the correct cover. It just doesn't look the way I thought it was going to look. So it's not like terrible, but it was a disappointment. I actually did order another cover and I'll show that to you next. The other thing you can do is personalize your cover with your monogram or your name or um, anything really, a quote, anything you want. But I kind of got stuck in decision fatigue and, and in the end I decided not to personalize it. There is a charge for personalizing your planner. I don't know if they charge you for personalizing the cover, but there's definitely a charge for personalizing the insides, which I was going to do, but didn't end up needing to do, or at least I don't, I don't think we're about to see for sure. So yes, they don't include the discs if you order disc bound, which is what I got. And this is a seven by nine size. They also have an A5 size. So I just wanted to show you how it comes though. And then I'm going to go off camera, put it on discs, and we'll do a, a real flip through. But how they send it is with all the pages up front and then the dividers. And the dividers are plain. They're just, they're kind of a, kind of a smooth card stock. And then they have the months and the tabs, which again is fine for work. But other thing which you're gonna see when we do flip through this, is that you don't have an option for a fully neutral planner. Now, this is what they call their neutral, but you're going to see it's blue. <laughs> it's not black and white. They did come out with fully neutral that was undated, but undated is not my jam, especially not for my work planner. I don't have time for that at all. I'm an outpatient dietitian. And so the way that I use my planner is I mark down all my appointments for the day in the hourly slots. I just put what type of appointment it is and whether or not it's virtual. I don't put names or anything like that for HIPAA, but it just helps me stay on track, especially if I am running back to back with appointments. This way I don't have to pull the computer up to see uh, what's coming next. So it really does help me. And then I also put some tasks in or meetings, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go off camera quickly, throw this on the discs, and then we will flip through it. Okay, guys, here we are. So I, if you are a plum paper user already, I have a question for you. Does it usually have the plastic piece to go on the back? Because it feels really weird in my hand to me without it, but they only sent me one. So I'm going to have to reach out to customer uh, support, but I honestly don't know. I just made the assumption that you would get it on both sides. Um, otherwise, kind of like, what's the point? But hmm, yeah, interesting. So <laughs> I'll have to reach out and see. That is disappointing to me, though. Um, yeah, so I don't hate this cover by any means, but I still, I still wish that the background was tan. I really thought that's what it was going to be. Um, but you know, again, it might have just been a difference of screens. So let's flip through the planner because I'm already, as I was putting it together, I'm already seeing some pros and cons. Okay. So we have our cover page. I do really like the plum paper. <laughs> I do really like the plum paper logo. I think it's really pretty. And then you have some calendars. You have 2023 and 2024. I don't know how much I'll use these sections in my work planner, but I like the aesthetic of them. And, you know, I wish that this was the same size as Happy Planner so that I could interchange things, but it's a little bit smaller. Happy Planner is just slightly bigger. Um, when I'm done flipping through, I will show you how they compare because I was also curious if I could use Happy Planner covers on here if it would work. But the Happy Planner is slightly bigger. Then you have these special dates pages, which these are cool. So January through December. And I should say like when you order the, this planner, 
you have the choice to select the start and stop months. I think you have to order at least a year, but you could also do like 13 months I noticed and, and maybe there's some other options. There's a lot of options for customizing this planner. Um, although these pages you couldn't really customize. I don't know if like, if say you ordered it starting in March, would it start here in March? I don't know that part. Then, oops. You have the same layout, but blank ideas, plans, goals. So I really love that. Again, might not use them in here, but maybe I would just put them in my happy planner, even though the pages are going to be a little smaller. And then, yeah, just plain dividers, which is no big thing for my work planner. I do really love beautiful dividers and layering and all of that. So I guess maybe I would try to decorate them myself or something if I was going to use this more as like my own personal planner, but it's not a big deal for work. And then other side of the divider is a dashboard, but you do have to note that this is the same material. It's like, uh, it's slick. So I don't know that you could write on this with just any pen. I, and that's a complaint that I'd seen people have, but again, I'm not going to use it in my work planner. So I don't really care that much, but um, I'm sure you could write on it with a uh, permanent pen or so of, you know, something like that. Then you have January, just a notes page, and then your uh, monthly layout. So again, this is what they call their neutral color scheme, but everything is kind of blue, grayish blue sort of color. It's pretty, I don't mind it at all, but I would mind it if I was decorating this planner. And then they have a colorful version and they have the modern color scheme, which is if I was going to get colors, that's probably what I, I would get. They're kind of softer colors. And I do apologize, you guys, if you can hear my furnace in the background. It's winter here in New England and I film in my basement. So then we get into our hourly layout. So the things I liked about this layout is that they give you half hour increments, which they're not labeled, but they give you half hours lines in between. And I really need that because as a dietitian, I'm either doing one hour appointments or half hour appointments. And I start usually my first appointment on a half hour, depends on the day I'm working. So I liked that. And even though um, these columns are somewhat small, I think it's going to work out okay, especially now that I don't have to write in the time. It's not all that smaller than the happy planner lined vertical. So here's the happy planner lined vertical. This isn't my work planner. This is a different one that I have. So you can see that the columns are they're just a little bit wider. So I think it's gonna be fine. I do really enjoy how Happy Planner has these boxes at the top because I will write in, you know, a day specific task. Like for instance, if I'm teaching a group class and I have to create Zoom links and send them out, I'll write myself a reminder that I need to do that on that day. But we do have these small boxes on the bottom of these and it's usually not that many to do's that I'll have because I'm in appointments a lot. So I think it's going to work out, a fi out fine, but I will certainly come back and update you on my impressions after I use the planner. But you could also see that the happy planner is a bit bigger. So after we're done with the flip through, I would like to see what it's like to try to put a happy planner cover on here though. So the other thing about plum paper is that what they do um, cause you can notice that most of this is gray. It's because these are December days. So when a month is ending and a new month is starting, that's what they do because here's what it looks like ordinarily. And I really do prefer this and I don't like that graying out. And I, from what I understand, it overlaps from month to month. So you'll have those dates in both months. I'm not sure why they do that and I'm not sure why they do the gray thing because most planners will just choose the cutoff that makes sense and they don't do that. So it's an interesting choice. It's not a choice I love, but it wasn't enough to make me not get it. Um, and then you have a little calendar here. I don't really need it, but whatever. And a to-do list, which you know, when I looked at this to personalize it, I was going to put to do here and I was going to put notes here. And then I realized, oh, that's how it comes. Now, the the only thing I for some reason, I thought that it went nine to nine and it goes seven to seven. 
it's not really the end of the world. The latest I ever work, once, once every other week, I work an evening and my shift ends at eight, but my last appointment would end at seven. So it's actually fine. It's actually fine. M m the earliest I'll start is 7.30, but the first appointment would be 8.30, the earliest that I would end. Um, or the last appointment I would have, the latest would be, you know, ending at seven. So this is going to suit my needs fine. So there was no need to personalize it, but you could have put different headings all over the place. And, you know, they have a lot of different layouts. I just needed an hourly layout for my work planner. That's what really works for me. So that's just what it's like. And then let's see what the end of the month looks like. Yeah, so here's the graying as you go into February. And then you end with a notes page, which I really appreciate. And then you start all over with February. So this did take me a minute to set up. Now, you could order notes pages dispersed throughout or notes pages at the end. Um, there's all kinds of different add-ons like um, lifestyle layouts and meal planning and fitness, all kinds of things. But of course, I didn't need that in here, but it is a very nice option. There's a lot of really cool things about this planner. So the only extra, oh, first of all, let me show you at the end of the planner, after, here's December, let's see. You do, after December, you did get some grot dot grid paper. I did not request that. That just came with it. And then you get a contacts page, um, which actually I, I may use this. And you get a passwords page, which I ordinarily wouldn't use in my planner. But at work, I might use this. <laughs> actually might be quite useful to me. And then you get 2024 in here, which is nice. And you get a pocket folder, which is something I don't have in my current planner and uh, or in my current work planner and sometimes was wishing I had. So I'm glad for that. And then the, the one thing I did order additional were these page protectors. It's like this. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to keep them in here. I think I'm going to put them in my Franken planners. And I have setups of my Franken planners, by the way, on uh, my social media slash business Franken planner and my budget Franken planner for 2023. Now on my channel and there's a 2023 planner lineup playlist. I have not put out my planner lineup video yet because I decided to do the setups first because it made more sense to me or at least most of them. Um, but that is coming very, very soon. So if that interests you, maybe you consider subscribing. I'm sorry, this is probably glaring on you. But yeah, these are cool. So I'm just keeping them in here for now. And then here's the back cover. So again, I'm curious if it was supposed to come with the plastic on the back or not, but I want it. So I think I'm going to reach out and ask them if it doesn't normally come with it. Is there any way I could have that? But yeah, let me know. If you know, let me know. Now I want to show you the other cover I purchased. Because I do really enjoy changing out my covers, although I never changed my, my work planner cover this year. But since I knew this was a different size, I just thought I would, I thought it would be fun. So let's take this one off. And this is the other one I got. I kind of went with blues because I knew it was going to be blue inside. And I've just been in a blue mood lately. I don't know what it is. That's pretty. I kind of wish I'd personalized this one. That's really pretty. I really like it, but I just, I'm not sure which one I'll use. I, do, I don't hate this one. I kind of do like it. Which one should I start with for uh, 2023? Maybe I'll throw it a poll in the community tab too. Yeah, so let's throw this back on here. Yeah, it's an interesting color, this background color. So I could see why it might look different on camera.
I wrapped up the video and I realized I said I was going to try on a Happy Planner cover and I didn't do it. So let's try that. I grabbed this was close by. I had purchased this daily planner a while ago. So let's just see what it's like. Yeah, so the spacing on the discs is the same, which I assumed it would be. Um, it's just quite a bit bigger, so I, I guess it's probably kind of silly. Let's put... So, I mean, it fits on fine. It's not crazy, but it is quite a bit bigger. So it's like, you could do it. You could do it, but I don't know. All right. So this is my 2023 work planner. Again, it's an hourly layout seven by nine planner from Plum Paper. I will definitely report back to you on how it works out, how I like it. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. Have you ever used a Plum Paper planner? What were your thoughts about it? Tips and tricks. Um, I'm here for it. And that is going to do it for this one, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.